Hello everyone, welcome back for round two. So we actually beat the Grizzly Fate deck. This is on the draw? Uh, yeah, this is on the draw. I guess we could try it. It has land brainstorm. You are right. I don't know. Let's say we hit only one more land off the brainstorm, and then we're brainstorm locked. Well, yeah, then we're brainstorm locked. But if we hit one more land at the black land, we can cast Familiar, which allows us to cast Psychotog and Psycho Sponge. And... Hmm. It's sketchy. I don't know. What do you think? We'll go for it. We're going to try it. Okay. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, so we don't do it now. We don't do it now. Okay, but we hit land land, so we're in good shape. Yeah, but you want to do it on the next turn so you dig one card deeper. That makes sense. Yep. But it's all right. We have two lands now, and Knight's familiar. We're in good shape for a bit. Psycho like, in we're in okay shape. Psychodog is going to be very good against this Goblin's deck. Assuming that's what he's on. Uh, red, black, no play? Yeah, I don't think he's on Goblin's anymore. Okay. Um, I think I still run this out. Yeah. I mean, he may burn it out. If he does nothing again, we might just want to play deep analysis to get... Right. We'll see what he does. Oh, he's going to kill that guy. Sure. I guess then we can just play Psychotog next turn. Yeah. There we go. Psychotog. Feel the wrath of the Tog. It is the Tog. Legendary creature, a Tog. <laughs> a Tog. Because, because we only have one of it, so it's a legendary creature. Right. Oh. Ah, uh, that might actually be a problem for us. Well, we have the 3-3. Three, three. Oh, perfect. Yep. Um, so we'll swing. Boom. One. Take it. Take it. Uh, Take it up the arena. Uh, this guy. Yeah, we also have good draws like Chainer's Edict against Shadow guys. Right. Uh, don't have any of our own Shadow cards. No, we do not pick up our own Shadow guys. Yeah. These would be the only ones we could have picked up, and we didn't pick up any mercenaries. So. Yeah. If he pumps, I'm gonna feel good about this because we're just gonna waste that guy. I would have felt better if he pumped twice. Oh, he's another one. Sure. <clears> oh, <throat> well, I guess we draw three cards, right? Sure. Seems reasonable. Knowledge. Give us more knowledge. Okay. Um. He's all. Island. He's like close to dead. If we get in there for, if we say we don't care, we get in there for four. We then have two draw effects, one of which is free, and put so this puts four cards in our hand. Yeah. So yeah, he's basically just dead next turn, I think. Unless he has an out. Well, if he pumps for sure, he's dead. Right. If he does not have a way to remove Psychotog next turn that we can't stop, I think he just dies. If he plays like a red creature, we can just expunge it. Then we don't get the deep analysis, but... Once again, I didn't count carefully, so... Because we... Deep analysis, deep analysis, gosh. That's right. got to be enough, right? Let's... Uh, well, it adds four, five... Or, sorry. So, minus one... So, plus three, plus four, plus five, plus six cards to our hand. Hmm. Could we? It could be interesting. Anyway, uh, dead. What do we even? A scrivener? Or no? Oh, that guy. It's good familiar. It's yeah. pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, um, so we can't just kill him here. Oh yeah, we can. We can just sack that. Um, count it carefully. Oh, we can just we can sack that. Trust Wait, me. count it carefully. Okay, so we're gonna go. Um, 
All right, so we have two cards there, so that's one. We're going to have Gush and Gush, because we can play Gush, bounce the lands, play another island, play Gush, bounce those lands. Deep analysis, deep analysis. So that's that one, two, three, four, or one, two, one, two, three, four, five, or sorry, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight cards drawn, three cards lost from hand. All right. So that's plus five cards. Also drawing, or getting three islands back. So that's nine, ten, eleven cards drawn. So eleven cards drawn. Yeah, plus the stuff in the graveyard. Plus the stuff in our hand. So don't still. play swamp. Don't play swamp. Yeah, don't play swamp. You want a deep analysis? Well, we're, yeah, we're going to float the mana and gush first. Uh, well, you want, you want to... Well, we we need to remove this. Yeah. So we got to go like this. Be gone. There's nothing in red-black that beats this, right? I don't think so. Yeah, I think he's dead. No fogs. I mean, he may have, like, a Kindle, but we can play around okay. Kindle. So we need a deep analysis and gush. So we go gush. Floating the mana. Play Island. Deep Analysis. Deep Analysis. Flashback Deep Analysis. Flashback Deep Analysis. Gosh. Gosh again. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so f yeah, so 15 in hand alone, yeah. So, so we'll start discarding. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in... Yeah, I don't think he has any outs at all. Yeah, because Smother isn't in, in this set, right? No, there's no Smother. There's no Chainer's Edicts of Sorcery. He's just... the point where he should be scooping. Maybe you should exile stuff so you don't show him more stuff. Uh, I agree. Let's start exiling yeah. things. So we're at 14, so we just need to exile one more set. Yeah. 15. Take it. Womp. Boop. It's like a dog. <laughs> It's like a tug. 15, we could add 19 and then another... Yeah, 19 plus there would be another, like... It, we could have gotten in for, like, 24. 25. 24, 25, right? Yeah. Wow, second dog is stupid. Okay. Yep. Um, is there anything we actually need? Um, let's... Exp let's see. Is Expunge going to be great against him? Probably not. Expunge is going to be a little bit weaker. Um, I don't know what his red's for. Probably burn effects. Yeah, all we saw was the mercenaries Maybe and... we go, like, minus one expunge, plus one brainstorm. Or a rescinder choking tethers. Uh, I actually like choking tethers is a one-of in here. Yeah. So, I think that's fine. Because choking tethers can just tap down his army and then we go, Psychotog. Right. Because <laughs> we win with Psychotog. That's how our deck wins. We draw infinite cards and win with Psychotog. Yep. Okay, this sense fine. Yep, I agree. Which is why I kept it. Oh. There are goblins. Well, Owl Familiar is a good blocker. I agree. <laughs> but, oh, there are goblins. They do exist. <laughs> that reminds me of the M&M's commercial. You I ever... know. That, okay. it, it, that came to my mind the moment I said it. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so do we crack right away? Uh, the advantage to not cracking is we get to play Brainstorm, and the advantage to not playing All Familiar is we get to Obsessive Search with it. I don't know if that's a thing. Hmm. It could be. Maybe we just wait. Do we play Brainstorm here, then? Yeah, I'll go Blue Brainstorm. I don't think we're getting beat down too hard. Oh, we have another Brainstorm? Yeah, we want to shuffle away this chaff. So we can shuffle away a Kenai even and a land, and then we have another Brainstorm, which we can play 
Wait, do we want to brainstorm again before? Well, no, okay, I think... So, we need to have at least, like, two to three islands. Maybe yeah. we can put back one swamp, and... Do we I think you would want the... I think you want to put back Baron Moore Swamp, to be honest. Baron Moore Swamp? Okay. Yeah, I think we might need the Can guy. just fetch a black? Sure, yeah. Get rid of some junk. And next turn we can go Al Familiar, discard this, draw two cards. Yeah. Seems decent. Yeah, like we're not getting beat down too hard here. Right, so. he's basically he's shocking us each turn, which isn't cool, but it's not awful. Alright, so Island. Oh. I think we still do Familiar. Yeah, we still do Familiar this turn, but for next turn, that's something to definitely yeah. consider. Oh, we drew our Baron more. Yeah, discard with Madness. Too much value. Right, infinite value. Oh man, so much value. So we can either Most. we can either you can even play Waterfront Bouncer and Counterspell next turn. Right, that seems good. So next turn, Waterfront Bouncer, hold up Counterspell. What's he got? Okay, so he has Goblins. He just also has Dothy Mercenaries. And Blazing Spectres. Which you just put on the bottom. So you actually got nothing off of that. So nice. That's good. I think in this, if you're playing goblins, you really want to be mono red. Yeah. I've seen the goblins hybrids kind of. It's not great that. ever. Okay. So is that our play then? Bouncer and. Yeah, I think Bouncer into uh, Counter Spell is fine. Yeah, we can take one more hit from the ringleader before we start doing stuff. Yeah, we don't want to be bouncing the ringleader really <laughs> until we can also counter it. Yeah. Well, hopefully he just jams, like, what's a five drop, a scary five drop? I don't know. Something he's got, with Echo would be hilarious. Yeah, he's got to be, he's got to have a good reason for playing black other than mercenaries. I don't think that's good enough. Probably mercenaries and, like, expunges and stuff like that. But yeah. Well, he also has Blazing Spectre. Oh, maybe he picked up the Necropotence. Oh, that could be. Counter that? I think so, yeah. Just don't want to deal with it. Okay. Yeah, he could have very well picked up, like, the Necropotence. Yeah. Um, oh. More infinite value! Right. Uh, I'm going to play the Swamp so we can cycle this one, too. Uh, you don't want to play the guy? Just Let's hmm. play the 2-3. Play the 2-3 and then have Obsessive Search bounce up? Well, we don't have Obsessive Search plus Bounce. Oh, yeah, so, fine. We can always just discard Baron Moore. Yeah, that's fine. But I don't think he'll be attacking, to be honest. Yeah, I doubt he'll uh, try attacking now that we have solid defenses up. And he's drawn a bunch of black sources. This is exactly the reason why I wanted Kenai even over the uh, Skywing even. Do you want to just bounce our guy? I was thinking about that, yeah. Because it, we'll take, we can trade this out for one of those. I think we bounce our own guy, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Our Baron Mord still does more work in our graveyard anyway, so. Yeah. Every card in our graveyard still works for us. Okay. okay. So I'll trade out with this so we can't get any funky triggers off that afterwards. Take four... Take four, and then we will get to replay our even and have this plus this up. Yep. I like that. Or we can just play that. Let's let's go for the value play. Kenai even does the same thing right now. Okay. Testing an even while mocking a counter spell, which is also yeah. just bounce with obsessive search. Right. Bounce, you know, Waterfront Bouncer basically is counter spell. Kind of. It's counter target creature spell. Or, well, it's remand target creature spell. Yeah. But you lose the remand. Well, no, you lose the remand anyways. It's remand. <laughs> you don't draw a card with it. He has drawn, like, mono black lands. Yeah. Seems good for us. Yeah. So if he does nothing, we get to just bounce patrol because it has echo. 
Yep. <laughs> oh, echo cards. I love you. Echo cards plus bounce effects. It's just hilarious. You might attack with both. If you attack with both, I block there and I just bounce the echo guy. Yeah. And then he can replay the Goblin Patrol and I won't give it a shit. <laughs> Isn't life grand? Isn't life great? Isn't life grand? Um, oh, do I want to bounce it anyways? Yeah. Let's do the value play here. Boing. Oh, so much value. Far too much value for my simple mind. So will you, we'll, we'll just cycle Obsessive Surge. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that seems nice. Pretty good. So we go Chainer's Edict, get rid of that stupid thing. Yeah. Be gone, foul wench. Could just play Killer Whale. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, the bounce is... He doesn't have anything to bounce, so... <laughs> so we'll play Killer Whale and get in for two, then? Yeah, maybe even three. Do you want to get in for three? I'm gonna just be safe. Well, there's nothing with Flash, so... Yeah, there's nothing with Flash. Yeah. Only issue is if he does something like kill the whale into turn, then play a guy and give it Reckless Charge, and... And then Flashback Reckless? No. Yeah, I think we're fine still. Like, he, he can play... His double... Okay. Sure. He's animating his... Sure. Um, thing here. Okay. okay. So you got a general. Oh, there's a fire. Um, yeah, so he does have reckless charge, we know that, so well, we reckless charge went to the bottom. Oh right. Okay. He we know he has reckless charge, but we saw a reckless charge go to the bottom of his deck. Yeah. Just gotta be aware of like oh I'll just draw three cards. Uh oh, this card was alright. Like Dothy Mercenary plus Reckless Charge is a way we can lose. Sure. Oh. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we just sit back on our cards now. On everything? Yeah. You don't even be on the safe side. I mean, we could get in with this. Because we Let's can see. bounce one guy and then just block. This is a 1 2 anyway, so this just. It will be a 2 3 actually. Oh, yeah. Well, 2 3 and a 2 2. Uh, we'll just sit back for a turn. Yeah. I'm fine being conservative right now. Just play it. Once Psycho we hit Psychotog, we just win. So. <laughs> oh, there's that guy. Yep. There's Dolphin Mercenary. Okay. Let's see what he does. Alright, let's bounce something. Yep. Actually, the Mercenary can't block. Let's. Uh, Let's brainstorm first. Yeah, let's brainstorm first. I agree. Hmm. Well, now we can bounce something and then Mesmeric Fiend it away. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm going to put Land Deep Analysis on top. And you're going to discard Island? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do we want to get rid of? Maybe the General? Maybe the I think the mercenary, mercenary just kind of gets through everything, so I think it's the mercenary. Yeah, let's just eat that with Mesmeric Fiend, I think. Seems pretty good. We're giving the wrong card. That one. Give then, it over here. <laughs> then we can even... Oh. Or we take that. Yeah, we take that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to edict him here? How are we you winning? Want a deep analysis. I think I kind of want a deep analysis. Yeah, we can deep analysis with a bounce spell up. Or bounce up. It's not bounce spell, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, I'm going to leave all the cards still in hand. Right. Yeah, because he really can't do much, so. And it's, we, it's definitely a good thing we grabbed the Caravex Torch. Because. <laughs> That would have been one, two, three, four, five, six, just shy of a lethal. Yep. Though it kind of does suck that he has, like, we eventually have to do something. 
Right. I mean, like, right now we can keep bouncing the Dothian Mercenary. No. Oh. So he can't really get in for anything. So, like, we just discard a swamp, bounce it. Ideally, we just hit Psychotog at some point here and we just win. Yeah. Gosh. Do we flash this back? Five. Maybe we just flash this back and make him sack this thing. Lose a guy? Sure. Maybe I play a swamp first so I can pull the blue. Oh, you're not going to play the flashback? Oh, right. That's what I'm saying. Still hold the blue, but. Yeah. The flashback costs seven. So. We can even just, like, discard Chainer's Edict to that so we can flashback Chainer's Edict. Well, maybe we'll discard the land that we get from Gush. Oh, yeah, we can just Gush. Yeah. That's right. Do you want to start getting in there with this? Start pecking him down a little, or just with the flyer. I think the two three is fine. We'll just start pecking him down a little bit. Yeah. Make it easier because we don't know. Our psychotog could literally be the bottom card of our deck. That's right. Do you have to win eventually? Hi, mercenary. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we've seen you before. You look familiar. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. Ooh. Well, maybe that gets bounced. Maybe, let's see if he attacks, we just eat it. Oh, yeah, we just eat that thing? Okay. okay, so let's gush here, right? Right, so we'll go float the blue. Doesn't actually matter, Doesn't but... Doesn't actually matter, I know. Gush. Oh, there's a dog. Okay. So... Uh, bounce. Still the shadow guy, I think. Yeah, still the shadow guy. What? Hooray, Psychotog! Hooray, Psychotog! Oh, we can play both of these. Yeah. We go Knights Get Familiar, Psychotog. Can even go Island Chainer's Edict. Let's do it. And discard Scrivener to bounce this thing if he tries to get in with it. Or once again, just gush. Oh, yeah. Or once again, <laughs> just gush. Uh, do we just get in with our 2 3? The 3 5, I think. The 3 5 this time? Yeah. Sure. Because the 2 3 naturally is flying. Right. And that just blocks that. So. Yep. So, our win con has been established again. <laughs> Psychotog. creature, Psychotog. Too good. Oh. Hey, Hello. I do believe I've seen that guy before. Oh, he has brothers. Okay, so... So, bounce a guy, bounce a guy. He loses? Psychotog? Like yeah. Okay, sweet. So, boing. Oh, oh you wanted to gush. done gush. I agree. That's fine. He still loses. Right. So, we'll go... Gush here? Yeah, I'll float, float some. mana. Float two. Float two mana, gosh. I mean, we're just getting in with everything. There's literally yeah. nothing he can do. Oh, choking tethers. Well, I'm gonna just bounce this thing. Yep. Kill you? Hooray, Psychotog. Scoop? Our opponent left the game. Oh, come on, really? Yep. <clears throat> well, our, <clears throat> our opponent has conceded without conceding. Now we have to wait 17 minutes. We have to wait 10 minutes. All right. Well, I think that's the match for, for our viewers. For the sake of our viewers, we have won this match. Our opponent is being a pissy little uh, bitch. Yeah. And, uh, what's his name? Uh, what is his name? How do you spell that? Ecam1000. So in case any of you guys play Moto, uh, make sure to add buddies, Ecam1000, and then send him terrible messages, which should not be posted here. Yes, messages which we will not post, but we will advocate that you post. <laughs> That's right. We have other people do our dirty work. Yes, that is how things go in this world. So, okay, please we'll feel free, see his name here. It's E-K-I-M-1000. So feel free to add him and say, why'd you leave this match and start posting mean stuff. Well, not mean stuff, but... Don't harass him too much, but just enough, you know? 
keep that fine line. <laughs> Harass him a lot, but yeah. Okay. Anyways, I guess we will see you all in the next round because we're not going to keep you sitting around waiting. <laughs> Bye. Bye.